Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Vanessa if you guys are new here. So today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I turn this wall into a collage wall. So if you guys haven't seen Tezza's collage kits, um, you probably have even if you don't think you have, um, but they're very popular. They're just like a collage of very aesthetically pleasing looking photos. So um, you could get all different types of collage kits from her collection and she has all different types of themes per each collage kit. So they average out to be, I don't know if there's like tax or anything included or if like shipping costs are also um, a factor that goes into the price then, I'm sure it does. But just as the price on its own, they average around like 60 to $80 I'd say but that's just like the price alone. So um, they're quite expensive. So I'm going to attempt to make my own collage wall and create my own collage kit. So over the past week, I've spent lots of time, more time than I probably should on Pinterest, trying to gather photos for my specific my type of collage wall that I'd want to create so I'm going to show you guys how I created my collage wall even though it's not done yet the process of creating a collage wall and looking for good pictures that you would be interested in putting on your wall that would go well together so without further ado I hope this all made sense without further ado I'm going to attempt to do this um and let's get into the video. Okay, so first thing I did was go on Pinterest. Pinterest is great because this is where you can find a lot, a lot of aesthetically looking pictures, um, aesthetically pleasing looking pictures. So um, you can really go off of whatever theme you want. So the theme that I was going for, and I already created my collage wall um, folder, but as you can tell, uh, this is kind of like my brand. This is my theme. These are the colors that I gravitate towards more all the time. So you could see a lot of whites, beiges, pink, uh, pink tones, blue tones, like light blues. That's like the little accent color. So this is the collage wall that I came up with. Right now I have 115 um, pictures. So you might be wondering how... Do I even look for a theme? How do I create a theme? How do I get, how do I have the eye to even place the pictures together? And I can't teach you how to have the eye for something. I guess I can, but I just naturally have a more like aesthetic eye where I can see that like even this little group right here, like they all go well with each other because there's a lot of different textures. There's um solid backgrounds there's backgrounds with texture no two pictures right next to each other are identical in the sense of texture and busyness um and also like background color so they're not clashing i don't know if this would make sense to anyone but in my opinion like having these two photos next to each other they're both very textured pictures you see what i mean so how I got all of these pictures, let's get into it. I went in and I first did, I always put the word aesthetic. So I did aesthetic, um, and I think I started off by doing like aesthetic background photos. So if you do aesthetic background photos, you're gonna see like a lot of like graphic design-y pictures. You could always start here and say you find a picture you like and it might be this one. You click on the picture and then Great, you want to save this and add it to your collage wall. Well, then if you scroll down on that picture, it's going to show you um, pictures that are similar to that style, that same style right there. So this can then give you a whole loophole be that you can fall down because you can then say you like this picture, then you could click on this one, and then it will bring you up a lot of pictures alike the same picture you just selected. So this is one way to go about it. Another way would be to type in things that you are interested in and want 
specifically pictures of on your wall. So maybe you like travel or you have traveled abroad to Italy, maybe type in aesthetic Rome. And if you want pictures of Rome, Rome is very aesthetically pleasing naturally. So there's a lot of great pictures that you could choose from there. And then you could always do the same exact thing and click on a specific picture and then scroll down to find other pictures alike maybe this picture. So that could be another loophole that you fall down and find a lot of great pictures. One good thing to break up your collage wall from like just pictures of like nature or like busy pictures is what I like to call them is um, quotes or like happy words or whatever. So you could just easily type in anything like graphic design quotes like cute quotes love quotes um happy quotes whatever it is and again you're going to get a lot a lot of really cute looking aesthetic looking um graphics so now we get into the tedious parts um if it wasn't already tedious enough i went through every single picture there might be an easier way to do this but I don't know if there is. I went through every single picture on my Pinterest board. I right-clicked it to save. Saved it to my laptop. I went on my Google Drive and uploaded all of the files to my drive so that I could resize them if I wanted to. I could also see the resolution um, of the picture blown up to see if it's going to be pretty poor quality when I try and print it out. So I just resized everything. It's easy then because you can just go and select a few prints if you want to just do five pages at a time or whatever just to make sure that you're not wasting paper um, because the images are coming out like blurry or not the colors that you were intending it to be. I already did a test run of like five or six pages and I realized I had to, oh my nails are so bad, I realized I had to change the color in my printer. So I didn't get to print everything, I'm going to do that now. But again, I'm just going to do about five or so pages. Maybe I'll up it then once I see if everything's running smoothly. But I definitely recommend doing it this way. Um, and it just saves time too. But highly recommend this. <laughs> They came out good there because of all the pictures like i was saying earlier this is something i ran into but because of a lot of the pictures are edited in like an orangey pink tone um my color printer did not pick up on like a lot of the blues and whites that were actually like in these pictures which is to be expected i just did it out of like a regular copy printer yeah this is just like regular paper so it's not obviously the best quality but this is just like a low cost thing um to do in quarantine just a few days later um from the last time that i filmed about my collage wall but i have all of my prints printed out and i have this little uh machine guy here that is going to help me cut even lines. Um, so this apparently we got from Staples, but this is just something my mom had laying around. So if you don't have something like this, obviously scissors will do just fine. But um, this is just going to make the process go by so much faster. Like I said, I do have a hundred and like fifteen prints. So this will help make the process go by so much faster and will also give even straight lines. So I'm just going to get to cutting these out. I doubt I'll get all of them done tonight, but this is at least a step in the right direction because I haven't worked on my collage wall in a few days. <laughs> I ended up getting 
probably about like 20 prints done um some of them were just like pretty blank so like all this is white so i didn't have to cut any of it but i cut out a lot of the prints and they're looking so good they would have looked 10 times worse had i done it with scissors so I'm really excited to actually put this up because I think it's going to be so cute. Okay, so I finally finished printing out, all, or not printing out, cutting out all of my prints. And I'm so excited for them. So, oh my god, this is going to be so much fun. But yeah, I think instead of putting them up on this wall, I actually took my tapestry down that I had up here because a friend asked if, or where she could get it and I said I would sell it to her because I was going to take it down anyway but then when I took it down I forgot that I had these freaking holes also please excuse my nails I know they're bad I had all these holes in the wall so I think I might do the collage wall on this wall instead because it just makes the most sense <laughs> could have kept going I just decided to stay with like the whole main focus of the wall um being the part that's covered also I ran into like issues with the switch and the two different like outlets so I mean yeah it's not my favorite way to end it because this right here bugs me as well as that and this but honestly oh wait it's already coming off Honestly, like, it is what it is, and I think it turned out really, really good. So, um, yeah, I actually didn't use all of the pictures. I still have, um, sorry, the sun is absolutely bright right now. I still have probably 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, I don't know if I counted right, but around 16 pictures. And like I said, these could have gone up still, but I feel as though if I would have kept going, then I would have had to add on like, I don't know, certain areas. So if I feel like it later, I might add on and make it more full, but I think this is pretty good right now. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. So I actually do have a few recommendations then before I actually end this video. And at first I started using double-sided sticky tape, which I thought would work best. Um, but it ended up being that that wasn't really strong enough to hold the stick to my wall. My walls are like a glossier, like matte finish. They're not like super matte. I don't know if this is called eggshell or not. I think this is glossier than the eggshell finish. Um, if you know paint, then you know what I'm talking about. But I think it's a little bit glossier. So if it was like an eggshell finish, I don't know if it would stick. Um, and I don't know if it would, I feel like that, that would have a higher chance of peeling the paint off, but because this is glossier, I don't think that should be an issue. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, like I said, I would just recommend using something stronger to hold that won't 
Red Boff paint. That's the end of this entire thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. And let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I can get creative from time to time and I don't really show that as much anymore. So let me know if you want to see more projects like this or like me just doing fun, creative, organizational or aesthetically pleasing things like this. So let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys again for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.